What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. In today's video, I wanted to actually take a look at a free plugin that I find to be indispensable when I need to do a tracking session or doing any recording in Studio One. Regardless of whether I'm doing a simple session where I'm in the same room as the artist or if I'm working in a live room control room setup, this is a plugin called Mutomatic, and it's made by a company called Soundradix. If you head over to their website, soundradix.com, this is actually available for free. I'm not sure if you have to sign up and create an account before you can get it, or whether you can just download it directly, but regardless, you definitely want to head over to soundradix.com, check this out, Mutomatic, get a copy, and install it. Now let's take a look at why it's so useful. So when you're recording and you need to communicate with people, this is done if you're not sitting in the same room with them where you can record directly or you can communicate directly. This is done via a talkback mic. You'll often see video footage of people leaning over, pushing in a button, talking to the artist, and then letting go. I want to talk about two circumstances where this is really, really useful and why this plugin automates this process. So two things that can happen is that when you're recording, you don't want your talkback mic to be open whatsoever. But maybe when you stop, you immediately want it to be open so that you can communicate with an artist directly. The other example would be if we're talking about an effects return of some sort, when the artist is recording, maybe they want to hear a little bit of reverb and delay. And when the tracks are playing back, maybe they want to hear that same reverb and delay. But the minute that they need to communicate, it's a little bit awkward when you're communicating with somebody and you hear a plate and a ping pong delay or something like that happening. So what ends up happening is we would usually manually enable the talkback. And also, if you have an effects return, you'd want to mute this. So this is essentially what we see in this plugin. We have three different states and there's a enable and disable of each of these states. So we have basically no sound when the transport is in stop mode. We have no sound when the transport is in play mode and we have no sound when the transport is in record mode. Now for the case of the talkback mic, for example, I'm using a quantum and if we head over to my IO setup, the Quantum actually has a built-in talkback mic, and it's just something that's built into the front panel of the Quantum. So I've got this set up as a talkback source. Uh, it's actually pretty far away from me, so the sound quality isn't the greatest. So full disclosure, I've got a noise reduction plugin running on real time just to kill my room noise of the sound of my computer fan and everything like that. But uh, essentially, the way that this works is that we've got a talkback switch, which will open and close that talkback. And then all we have to do is make sure that it's monitor enabled, but not record enabled, because we don't want to record the talkback mic. We just want it to be in the chain so that somebody can hear us. Now, the minute I enable my talkback, which can be done through my audio device controls over here, you can see that this particular input is receiving sound. Now, we're in stop mode with our transport, so that means that this is allowed to be open and the audio is passing through. But the minute I push play, notice that because our transport is now in play mode, it's cutting off the audio. Now, conversely, I don't have any tracks record enabled, but if I enabled a record mode on my transport, this is also going to cut this off because this is set to have no sound in, in playback and no sound in record mode. But the minute I push stop, boom, this opens up. Now, if I wanted to disable this, I could disable this and it's essentially cutting off the audio flow after this plugin. So that's the first use case is on a talkback mic. And I think it's also important to note that a talkback mic doesn't just have to be for an engineer. That could be something that an artist has. So if I was recording a Cajon and I had like a Beta 52 in the back of the Cajon and I wanted to be able to communicate with the artist, I wouldn't be able to hear them that well. So I might just throw up a SM58 or some type of microphone just so we have a talkback mic. And then that might be open when the transport is in stop mode and maybe even play mode. So like I said, the talkback mic, that's the first thing. It automates the concept of me having to push that button. And the other thing is if I wanted to do something manually, so let's say it's set to cut off the audio when the transport is in play mode. Let's say that I temporarily needed to communicate with the artist when we were playing back and listening to a take, I could say, yeah, this part over here, I think you can do that better. So let's punch in from here. And then I could close off the talkback mic. So. 
that is the talkback. Let me close my talkback mic on my Quantum. And in fact, we can just close this off as well. Now, the second use case, like I said, is for effects returns. When you need to communicate with somebody, you don't necessarily need to hear ping pong delays and large reverb halls. So I've got a track set up here with a different microphone than I'm recording into now. Let me go ahead and monitor enable this. And notice over here, that this is set to essentially cut off the audio when the transport is in stop mode. I have this one active. Now, if I deactivated this, you'll see that you can hear that I'm talking through a reverb and that could easily be a chorus or a delay or a slap back, anything for that matter. But when I'm communicating, I don't want that happening. But the minute I press play, then I do want that to happen because I want the artist to be able to listen back to their performance with any reverb intact. Now also, if I press record, that's going to be the same thing. This track, let's record enable this and let's enter our transport into record mode. Now you can see that the audio is passing through over here and they're able to hear the reverb. But like I said, the minute I stop this, it's cutting off the effects return. So this saves me from having to manually mute this. And then quite simply, I've created two presets by clicking store preset. I have one that's basic talk back. And I have another one that's basic effects returns. And another thing I could do if I really liked it the way that this one is, I could even uh, store this as the default preset if I wanted to. But we don't really need to create presets. It's so simple to be able to activate and deactivate where the audio is getting cut off based on these three transport modes that you're working with. And then the way that I usually do it is I leave this pinned or one or two of these plugins pinned while I'm tracking so I could have them beside each other. And then if I need to cut off or if I need to open my talk back momentarily while the track is playing or recording, I can quite simply do that over here. Now, I don't usually use the built-in talk back mic on the Quantum. I usually have something wired up like a shotgun mic or something or omnidirectional so that even the band members or if there's a producer that I'm working with, anybody in the room can essentially be heard the minute I open up that talk back mic. So anyways, that's Mutomatic by Sound Radix, a free plugin that is absolutely indispensable for a tracking workflow, regardless of which DAW you're working with. And I just wanted to take this time to show this plugin to you guys. So if you found this video useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.